Adım Anya, Anya Bakın. Ben bir pilgrim, a Kudüs. İrlanda'da a Kudüs yürüyorum. Benim ah da beraber. Şimdi biz bir yıl yürüyek. İrlanda, İngiltere, Hollanda, Almanya, Avustralya, Macar, Sırbistan, Bulgaristan ve şimdi Türkiye. Iki gün önce ben, what is it? I arrived. Ben, oh, and now I forgot the name of your, of your village. Oh, Chandaja. Chand, Chand, Chandaja. Chandaja. I, I arrived in Chandaja. Well, ben yürüdük ve ben düşündüm ben bir çay içmek istiyorum. I went Chandra Ichin, Chandra Direction, and Gel, Gel, Gel. Bukalan, Bukalan, dedi. Gel, Gel, Gel. Bir çay iç. Ben düşünüyorum. Çok iyi. Ben çay içmek istiyorum. Ben Chandra, Chandra, iki iki gece kaldım. With with with her family, and who, who saw it? It was time for me to go on the road to Kudus. Çok büyük bir yol, çok zaman lazım, and I rested really really well. It was really interesting to arrive in this small place where I was not supposed to be. And find out that there is this long history, Trakia history and Roman history, and that actually the the road I was looking for, I had come, I'd been walking over the Via Diagonalis on my way to the Via Ignatia, that I'm actually on the old road that is connecting the two. Ah, yeah, Kim Bilio, yeah, I'm learning so much. So, çok öğrendim. Çok insanlara hoş geldin. I've been welcomed very, very warmly. It's been an amazing two days. Ama şimdi yol bana gel, gel, you, you, Anya, you have to go. Kudu sana bekliyor. So I'm, I'm back on my way. And what happens? Bu sabah ben düşünüyorum. Hadi Anya, git, you. And I get 
I get company not only of my host, but also of a host who wants to be my host and of Lil Mehmet who who was <laughs> who was who was teaching me about everything that was in the in the village and they walked me out of town for about 12, 13 kilometers and now it is time to say goodbye. I mean what more could a pilgrim wish for? Thank you very much. The inshallah this Maybe festival? Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, good afternoon. It is day 379 of from here to Jerusalem. Walking from West Cork to Jerusalem with a harp on your back. Sean the harp is here, Jerry the stick is here, my good self. Oh my god! <laughs> I was walked out of the village by. by. by by a whole group of people, like uh, they were going. The, uh, Najan was going, like I can't let you go on your own. Mehmet wanted to do a bit of the walking, and uh, <laughs> and they didn't want to let me go alone because it's too hard. And of course, it is too hard, but that's the whole point. Uh, but then of course, there was a lot of dilly-dallying, there was a bit of crying, uh, there was a bit of, oh, but how, I'm scared for what's going to happen to you next. And I said, listen, been on the road for a year, think I can do the rest as well. Now, uh, made a little video for the village, I think, I think, and uh, to say thank you, and uh, now we're on our way again. Uh, I have another 20 kilometers to go, 18 or 20 kilometers to go. I'm just gonna walk, see how far I get. Uh, it was supposed to rain. So far, so good. Uh, there was, of course, kilos of food that I was supposed to bring with me. We managed to uh, wiggle it down a little bit. Uh, I don't know what to do about this thing, but the generosity is just crazy. Uh, there is a good chance I will see the sea today. Uh, there's a little bit of climbing still to come. Uh, the big road is right next to me here. I'm having problems again with remembering the names of where I am. But I'm in good spirits. I'm in good spirits. Uh, uh, the best spirits I've been in since I arrived in Turkey. So it's, it's all good. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. Uh, there was really a few days where I thought, no, very up and down, no way. Uh, even when I was feeling uh, okay-ish, I was thinking, I don't know how long I can do this. Uh, I think it's a combination of uh, culture shock and uh, just having been on the road for very long. Memories, things I'm being reminded of. Uh, there was some stuff at home happening and I'm thinking, how much? You know, how much? How much can any person take but of course my commitment is to finish this road I don't know how I don't know how far it will bring me I don't know how far it will go uh, spending time at Mehmet yesterday in the mosque and 
talking about the similarities between Christianity and Islam was very helpful for me. Uh, their assurance that I can just ask for help is also very assuring. Uh, and just the kindness. I still don't like, like the worry though, you know, when people go like, oh, but it's very, very dangerous. Like, uh, Nijan was saying, she had never been on the old road this far out. She'd gone by car over the new road. <laughs> I don't know how that makes me feel. They're so kind. You know, and the way, you know, the, the way they treat the other, the stranger, is so kind. Of course they know I'm going, you know, that helps. <laughs> you don't have to put up with me forever. But very touching. Very, very touching. So now, next bit of the road, I have to go do this. Uh, Weather-wise, it's around 15 degrees. There's a nice little breeze, no direct sun, there's clouds, which is good. It's light enough, it's unlikely. It might spit spot. I don't think it'll rain. There's not enough wind to move the whole thing about. And if there is, it's high up. Uh, it's get, been getting lighter instead of darker. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of nice having the whole parade coming out of uh, out of the village, and I'm very grateful that two days ago I decided I wanted to go for a cup of tea, and that when uh, I was called in for the second time, I said yes again. Yeah. Yeah, between uh, Turkan and her, her uh, and her women and Tujin, I am a very, very lucky pilgrim. Very, very lucky. Now, and on that note, how lucky can you be? <laughs> how do I get around this? Okay, this is going to be a bit of a bit of a thing. Okay, let me go deal with this. Ooh. Oh no, thank God. Oh, okay. I don't know how deep this is. Okay, let's go, let's go. is that way that's the sea that's the sea <laughs> that's the sea I was saying this morning that uh, all I want to is to see the sea <laughs> I saw the sea from the window uh, in, at the end of August, beginning of September. 
but I'll be able to put my feet into the sea for the first time since June last year. The sea. I've walked from the North Sea to the Mediterranean. <laughs> I've, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. <sighs> now I need to get down there. I need to get down there and look. No rain. No rain. I made it to the Mediterranean. <laughs> On the other side of that hill there, somewhere there, is Gelibolu. And then there, at the end there, on the other side of that Lantong, is Chanakala. Gallipoli. This was a really, really important part of the the final decisions, the finals of the Second World War. Thousands, thousands of young men lost their lives here. <laughs> and it is the Akdenis, it's the Mediterranean. <laughs> And I'm here. I didn't expect that I uh, that I feel so strongly about it. Like I, I know I've missed the sea. I've walked the great rivers of Europe, the Rhine, the Danube, and along the Maritza. And here is a body of water that is connected to all the other seas. To the ocean, the mouth of this sea goes into the Atlantic. It touches my home. <laughs> I haven't been along a river. You know, the Marita was very small in in Bulgaria until I came to uh, Svilingrad. This is just. Unbelievable. And I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> wow. was outside of my reach because it was 30 kilometers and uh, I came to Koja Chishma uh, which was in my head where I would probably make it to so I stopped I, literally like coming up to the village it started raining and I'm thinking 
well there's your sign like this is this is it you're done for the day and uh, uh i walked into the town to the to the jami and uh, <laughs> there's of course there's a coffee house across the road and the mukhtar's office is uh, there as well and uh, i get there and I, I, I walk in to get out of the rain because I'm getting really wet like the whole day the whole day the weather the weather was fine but of course I had started too late I was really slow because uh, like it was so lovely to be walked out of town but it was a whole hoo-ha like it was a whole like <laughs> so we en I ended up being late I had something to eat at around 3 o'clock and then I went on and uh, Dyer had said to me, you have to make it to Kafakur. Kafakur is 30 kilometers. I didn't make it. So, go to, go to Cheshma and I see a camper van and I'm thinking, great. I look at the map. There's two really good uh, fish restaurants. And I came over, over the old road and I was just saying to Marcel over the phone that I, I would be seeing the sea today and then I saw the sea and I literally went like oh my god oh my god oh my god and I started crying it's like so tearful so by by then like just the whole emotional thing I'm wiped like and uh, <laughs> I'm okay by the time I get to Kocha Cheshma but there's you know crying and the sky cries and <sighs> I'm thinking, well, I'm done. And I walk into the co into the coffee house like this this hall and I go, oh, is there tea here? And he goes, Yes, would you like more tea? And I said, Yes, I would love more tea. And I'm having the tea and they say, Where are you going? I said, Well, I was actually trying to make it to Kavakur, but it's six o'clock right now. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna make it. And they go like, no, no, no, no, no, no, you're not going to make that. Stay, stay. Like the Mukhtar is there, like, stay. And we're waiting for the Mukhtar and we're drinking more tea and they're asking me questions. You know, this the usual, where are you from? Where's your husband? <laughs> uh, where are you going? I'm getting better at this. But I'm tired, tired. Uh, my language is going and all oh, this water is coming down. This Mukhtar is nowhere to be found. <laughs> or he's on his way or I don't understand what's going on and then I get a mission, message from Tahir who says like they're waiting for you in Kavakur and I think I'm not going to make it so I write to him I say I'm not going to make it to Kavakur because it's raining the rain came and I'm in Kota Cheshma and he says uh, well he's talking to the Muhtar now so everybody was in touch with everybody and we I said like to the Mukhtar when he came he said no no you should go to Kafakur I said well the issue is is that I'll be walking from here tomorrow so is there a bus and he goes is it okay if they come and pick you up I said yeah if there is a bus in the morning back here then yeah and he says there is a bed here but it's like it's not made and it's not like it's not great and they're waiting for you there there'll be food there'll be I'm going like I, I, I, I, it's so good by me but is there a bus back and I have a chat and I have a chat and eventually uh, they say great so you'll take a bus back I go like great is there a bus yeah yeah yeah just talk to Dawn so Dawn comes oh oh Dawn is a friend is he knows tired and he works for the ability here for the for the council for the mayor's office and he is in this fancy car and he goes like uh sit in the back and put the harp in the back and they drive me here and uh he delivers me to his home where his wife and his daughter are and we have a little bit of music and they give me uh so uh, uh, eggs from the village with tomatoes and cheese and and uh, yeah, and then they bring me, I, I get to take a shower and uh, I got my bag, is so nice, so much stuff in there, like, 
Oh, anyway, it's raining. It's raining outside. I've seen the sea. I haven't been near there. I didn't go near the fish restaurants. And tomorrow morning at six o'clock, we're waking up. And by seven o'clock, we'll be on the road. And he'll bring me back to Kosher Cheshme and I will walk. I won't make it from um, from Kosher Cheshme to Bilibola. It's 40 kilometers. So I will come through here again tomorrow. And then I'll move on. Everybody happy. And it's just after 10 and I'm really tired. So I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just going to go to sleep. And tomorrow will be another day. I'm just really grateful. You know. I'm just really, really grateful. I don't know how to, how to get my pack packed tomorrow. But I do, I feel very grateful. So when she, the, the wife was going to like put the fire on, I said, please don't, like, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm, I'm fine. Like, so they, like here too, there's like a fire. There's my bed. Da, da, da, da, da. Um, all my bags are inside. I've got the water here and my little bag. Jean the Harper is in the kitchen with his bag and the food bag there's so much food in there i stopped to just eat something uh, and we weighed ourselves this morning I'm, st I'm still 82 kilos like i have to touch my feet as well it was a good day in the end it was a good day i hope it rains out tonight and uh, there'll be big road walking now from tomorrow onwards the old road will stop. Avatia, Avat Aktenes, Avatia Trainium. I'll be in Asia soon. I had two amazing days. They go, oh, look, my new skirt. <laughs> and it is long. And it is like really one of those old women's skirts with the elastic at the top. I am delighted with myself. Like, Delighted. They're all looking at me. They're asking me, How old are you? And I go, 53. And I go, like, Mashallah. And I was kind of thinking, I would love to have a pair of those pants that the old women wear. But I got the skirt. <laughs> I'm delighted with myself. Yeah. And I got myself. Uh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's all good. Tomorrow will be another day. Bingo.